Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today we are going to be taking the Brightline train up to Orlando for the very first time. Pretty excited to see what we're in store for. We've heard some great things about it. We are just gonna be doing a quick trip up to Orlando for two nights because we are celebrating Fred and I's wedding anniversary and we're even gonna be eating at our favorite restaurant in Orlando. We haven't been there in almost four years, so we're super excited for that and hope you guys enjoy. Upon arriving into the train station, we went through a security checkpoint and then made our way to the lounge to relax and wait for our train. There was even a bar as well as an area that sold snacks and a few souvenirs. It wasn't long before our train had arrived and we made our way downstairs to the platform to board our train. The train ride was about three hours, which is about the same if you drive, but I will say I much appreciated not having to be stuck in any traffic and just being able to relax. Um, Fred and I actually watched the Florida Panthers game while we were en route and that was great, except for they didn't win. But anyways, it was great to just be able to relax and just enjoy ourselves for the three hours en route. Fred and I were pleasantly surprised to see how spacious and clean the bathrooms were on the train. There was even an automated button to open and close the door. So we have now made it to Orlando. This train station is absolutely stunning. We're actually here inside of the Orlando airport, which is kind of interesting and also very convenient. And now we're about to catch our Uber and head over to our hotel. We stayed at the Orlando World Center Marriott, and wow, it was a very big resort. Although the hotel was quite busy when we arrived, the check-in process was quick and seamless. Mr. Obiero, it's like they knew you were coming. <laughs> One of my favorite things about our room was that we had a balcony with a pool view and we could even see the Epcot ball lit up at night. Today was a pretty relaxing day. We went downstairs for breakfast this morning. And then Fred had to do some work this afternoon. So I just hung out here in the room. It's also very windy outside today, so it wasn't ideally a pool day. We just got ready and we are about to head downstairs for our complimentary shuttle that our hotel provides over to Disney Springs and go eat dinner. We 
We arrived to Disney Springs a few hours before our dinner reservation so that we could walk around and do a little bit of shopping. I was very excited to see a pop-up shop of one of my favorite jewelry companies and bought a new bracelet to remember our trip. If you need me, I believe that we can grow. Fred and I were also excited to see that the Coca-Cola store had our favorite tasting that we remember from our Disney days when we visited Epcot. This particular tasting was 16 sodas from different countries around the world. It was very nostalgic to try a few of our favorites as well as some new flavors. Last night we went to Disney Springs to eat at our favorite restaurant, Morimoto. It was just as amazing and delicious as we remember from years ago when we went. We got their Peking duck, which is one of their most notable dishes, and it was just as delicious as we remembered. Also the sake sangria. Don't, don't sleep on that. It is so good. Would definitely recommend those. Is with the tortillas, yeah. so we'll stick with that. And then you're doing something with the duck? Uh, uh, Chinese vegetables, add some chili. That composes the meal real well if you like vegetables. What, what do you recommend? Just a little side of the Chinese vegetables. Sure, yeah. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. All right, y'all enjoy your dumplings. Thank and then you. As I mentioned before, this is a very large resort. There were actually a few conferences going on during our stay. Although Fred and I don't have any children, this would be an excellent place to stay if you have kids because of all the activities and the water park. There's even a full arcade on the lower level. It's Nerf or nothing. Good morning guys, it's our last morning here in Orlando. Unfortunately, we didn't get a late checkout from the hotel, so we decided to come downstairs to Starbucks real fast and grab us some coffee and a few things to eat for breakfast. And we're gonna enjoy our last few moments here at this beautiful resort before we make our way back to the train station and head back home. We certainly enjoyed our stay here at this hotel and would love to come back again when we could have a little bit more time to relax by their large pool. And who knows, maybe I could even talk Fred into the water slide.
back. Back home. Well, we just got out of our Uber and here back to the train station in Orlando. As I mentioned previously, it's actually located right inside of the Orlando airport, which is extremely convenient. We got here a few hours early because we want to go check out their lounge area. So we've noticed in the Fort Lauderdale station, even if you don't book a premium ticket, which gives you the private lounge access, they did also still have in Fort Lauderdale a bar area where they serve drinks and food, and they do also have other lounge areas as well, even if you just book one of the lower, I believe they call it the smart traveler option. So we're gonna go inside of the Orlando station now and see what we can find in there for the option that we booked. We just met a friendly guy at the bar and he gave us chiclets. Haven't seen right. these in a long time. I was the friendly guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not. It's espresso martini o'clock. Oh yeah. Mine's sweet. How's yours? Delicious. Perfect. You guys see the difference? Who has the best? We just made it back to the Fort Lauderdale Brightline Station. Home sweet home. The Brightline was such a great experience. There was a little bit of a mechanical issue leaving Orlando today, so we were a bit delayed, but I want to say it wasn't maybe more than five, ten minutes, and then we were on our way. Also didn't realize how many new stops they've added, so I would definitely check it out if you're looking for another means of transportation in the South Florida area. Fred and I were also lucky enough to snag our tickets when they were doing a BOGO sale, so we got both of our tickets round trip for $118, which if you ask me, is a pretty good deal for the both of us to be able to travel, um, especially in the comfort of their cabins. It was such a great experience. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next vlog.